Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today we're going to look at the Resting in Style script for Roll20. This script allows you to recover spent resources after a short or a long rest, and because we're using the API for it, you will need a pro account in order to do this. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. So in D&D 5e, rests give your characters a respite after an intense battle or encounter, and depending on your class and the duration of the rest that you're taking, you may recover spell slots, class features like Wild Shape or Channel Divinity, and you may have magic items recharge. And when you're low level, this isn't really a big deal to track by hand because you don't have much to track. But when you start getting up into the mid-levels, levels 5, 6, 7, now you've got multiple abilities that you need to keep tabs on, and there's a higher likelihood that you may forget to reset something after a rest. And I've noticed this is particularly true when there's a sense of urgency within the party. Oh, we need to get a quick rest in, and then we're going to go charge the castle. You know, So that rest is more of just a... Let's get our hit points back and move, and then you forget to reset something else that you've already used. So the resting in style script is going to automate the recovery of those resources for us. Let's take a look at how it works. So the first thing you're going to need to do is actually install the script. And resting in style is available from the script library. If you're not sure how to install scripts, I'll pop a card up in the top right so you can see how it's done. Once the script is installed, I'm going to recommend you create two macros. So let's go over to the macro tab here, and we're going to create one macro for a short rest, and we'll do another one for a long rest. So we're going to say short rest, and then the command for this is very simple. It's just exclamation point short dash rest. And then we're going to make this available to all our players. And then we'll save changes, and I'm going to recommend that you have your players put this in their bar. That's just going to make life uh, a lot easier for everybody. And then we're going to do the same thing for the long rest. And the syntax for that is just pretty much the exact same thing. It's exclamation point long dash rest. Again, we'll make that visible to all players, save it, and then we will put it in the bar. So we've got both of those right there. So now, let's see how it works with our characters. You can see I've got my wizard, my paladin, and my druid. They're all in various states of damage. Let's look at what a short rest will do for the druid. So I'm going to alt double click on her token to open up her character sheet. And we can see that she is down some hit points. She's used both uses of her wild shape. And she has burned through some spell slots. Okay, so let's give her a short rest to see what happens. So we're going to click on her token, and then we're going to click short rest. And we can see here now, short rest for our druid. We're down 14 hit points, so we will want to consider using hit dice. We see we have 10 left. And we regained both uses of our wild shape, because that ability recharges on a short rest. So that's cool, but if we look at our spells, of course, those did not recover because druids don't get their spells back on short rests. They need a long rest for that. So let's see what happens when we do a long rest. And for the long rest, I want to look at our wizard. So here's our wizard's character sheet. You can see he's used his arcane recovery. He's down a bunch of hit points. And he's also down a bunch of spells. So I've got him highlighted right now. I'm going to click long rest. And we can see that Mumford has regained 23 hit points, so he's back to full. He's regained all of his spell slots, and Arcane Recovery was regained. So let's look over here again. All right, so all our hit points are maxed out. There's Arcane Recovery. So that gets us back a bunch of our class features. It gets us back our spell slots, and it was one button click. We didn't have any chance of forgetting anything. Now, if you're curious about a particular class's abilities or a particular class's spell slots and what's going to recharge when for who, have a look at the script's documentation because the author did a really nice job of breaking down everything that the script will recover and under what circumstances. Okay, so that's cool, but what about things like magic items? So, for example, let's say that my paladin has this necklace of prayer beads, and after making rolls, he wound up getting three beads with curing on his necklace. Well, that means he can cast cure wounds from that bead 
and the bead gets its magic back on the next dawn. So effectively after a long rest, because a long rest is eight hours. So how would we have something like that with this script? All right, well, let's take a look. Let's jump into our Paladin's character sheet. I'm going to alt double click on that to open up Sir Holiness McRighteous. Okay, and what I'm going to do is go over to the core tab here, and I'm going to go down to the resources section, and I'm going to click the plus sign to add a new resource. And what I'm going to do is put in the name of the resource. That's going to be prayer bead. And then I'm going to put an open bracket, an L, and a closing bracket. Now, because this is kind of small to see, I'm going to pop it up in Notepad as well. So it should look like this. And then in the total, we have three beads. And let's say that we've used all of them. So we have none left. Okay. So now when I highlight my paladin and I do a long rest, you see the paladin got back all of his spell slots. So if we just look at those real quick, yep, all his spells are back. He got back his hit points, his lay on hands, his divine sense, and the prayer beads recharged as well. So we can recover magic items that recharge on a long rest. Incidentally, if you had a magic item that you wanted to recharge on a short rest, then you could just have it be S in the square brackets. And this doesn't actually have to be magic items. This could be some homebrew class feature that you've come up with or any other resource that you want to track the expended uses of and be able to recover. Well, that's all well and good, but what happens when you have something that regenerates charges? My paladin is also a cook in his spare time and he has Heward's Handy Spice Pouch, which regains 1d6 plus four charges every day at dawn. Well, the script can help us with this as well. So instead of having to remember to roll for the charges and, and all that, we can do this automatically. The syntax for this is going to be similar to what we did for the prayer bead. And again, just popping it up in notepad so it's easier to read. We're going to put the name of the resource followed by an open bracket, the letter L for long rest, and then the number of charges we're regaining. We're going to say plus 1d6 plus 4 and then a closing bracket. So I'm going to plug that in as the other resource name there. I'm going to start out the maximum number of charges is 10. The magic item says that it starts out with 10 charges right here. So that's good. So we have 10 charges and let's say he's got two left, All right? If I now select him and run long rest again, you can see he's at full hit points and his spice pouch rolled a seven going from two charges up to nine. You can do this with a short rest as well. All you would do is change the letter L here to an S. And now the magic item or the resource, whatever it is, would recover on a short rest instead. So there you have it. That's how we can recover spent resources using the Resting in Style API script. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And until next time, folks, have a great day.